there are over 45 countries in the world where you can travel with a US visa. Yes, if you have a US visa, then you can travel to all these countries. Either you do not need a separate visa to travel to all these countries or you will get a certain privilege or advantage if you have a US visa. So want to know the entire list then make sure you watch the video till the end because we will be discussing the top 18 countries that you can travel with a US visa. Hello, Namaste, welcome to my channel. I am Pragya Mishra, your visa and immigration guide. If you're interested in any topics related to studying abroad, working abroad, visiting abroad, in short, if you want to go global, then this is your stop. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated. US visa is one of the most difficult visas to get. And yes, we all know about this. And we also know the amount of screening that goes behind getting a US visa. So the developing countries in particular take the advantage of that. So if you have been given a US visa, it means that you must have gone through huge screening and also your background is clear. It means you do not have any criminal records. You are not an illegal immigrant and all that sort. So yes, they rely upon this data and save themselves some money and effort of screening and of course give you the advantage of entering to their country either without a visa or getting some visa on arrivals or other facilities that comes if you have a US visa with you. So let's check out the top 18 countries in our list which give you this advantage of having a US visa. So the first country in our list is of course Mexico. This is the most favorite destination for anyone having a US visa. If you have got a US visa, regardless of any country you are from, regardless of any visa category, you can enter Mexico without a visa. The only criteria to this is that your visa should be valid. It, it is to be, it, you should be having a multiple entry US visa, either used or unused, but a valid US visa. And then you are good to enter Mexico by sea, air or land. The amount, uh, I mean the duration for which the visa will be granted to you completely depends on your itinerary. Uh, usually they give you a visa of 180 days, but also it's extendable. Next on the list is one of the most popular tourist destinations, Costa Rica. Yes, if you have got a US visa, a valid US visa, be it used or not used, a multiple entry US visa in the categories of B1, B2, C, D, J, H, L, F, then you are good to visit Costa Rica without a visa. The only condition that they have laid that if your visa category is B1, B2, C, D, D1, then you should be having at least a 30 days validity on your visa while you are arriving in Costa Rica. And if you belong to other category, let's say the H, L, F, M category, then you should be having at least six months validity on the visa when you arrive in Costa Rica. So these are the only conditions that they have laid and they will be granting you entry for 30 days based on your US visa. The next country that you can visit with a US visa is Panama. Entry is granted to the nationals of any country across the world and this is applicable for all the visa categories of US. But they do have certain rules in order to enter Panama with a US visa. First thing, you will be granted entry for 30 days only. Apart from that, the rules are that your passport should be valid for at least three months on the date of arrival in Panama. Your visa should be valid for at least six months on the date of arrival in Panama. And you should have used your US visa for at least once to enter US. Yes, they want to make sure that the visa is used and you have entered US at least once. So these are the criteria for Panama and apart from that they have one more criteria that is you have to show finances, you should be having at least 500 USD in your bank account. So that's it, these are the only rules to enter Panama with a US visa. The next destination is another touristy destination, it's Bahamas. But there is one catch in this, Bahamas 
allows US visa holders to enter Bahamas but it only allows this entry to Indian passport holders. So this is not a open to all nationals country. If you are an Indian, if you are having an Indian passport then you can enter Bahamas with a US visa. You can also enter Bahamas with a US green card if you do have one but if you are entering Bahamas with a US green card then there are two conditions that needs to be satisfied. First, if you are coming directly from US, then your green card should be valid for at least three months. And if you are not coming from US, it means if you are coming from a third country, then your green card should be valid for at least six months. There are no such restrictions for the visa holders. The only restriction is that this rule is, uh, this privilege is given to only Indian passport holders. The next destination is the British Virgin Islands and again this country has opened its doors to the nationals of all countries having a US visa and all the categories of US visa. They will be allowing entry for a period of 180 days. Yes, you heard me right. And the only condition that do, they do have is that your visa should be valid for at least six months on the date of arrival in the British Virgin Islands. The next destination that you would like to add in your bucket list is Cuba. If you have a US visa, then no matter from which country in the world you belong to, you can enter Cuba with the privilege of your US visa. But this facility is not given to all the visa categories. It is only allowed for B1, B2, F, J, L and H categories. So if you have a valid visa, valid US visa in these categories, then you are good to go to Cuba and you will be given a grant for 30 days. But they have put some restrictions. It's not a restriction, it's just a requirement. You will need to have a tourist card with you. This tourist card can be obtained from the embassy, the Cuban embassy or from the airlines in which you are traveling or from any travel agency uh, in Cuba. It's pretty easy to obtain. So this tourist card is what you will need to enter Cuba if you have a US visa. The next country in our list is Argentina. If you want to go to Argentina, then you must have a valid US visa, a multiple entry used or unused US visa, but in the categories of B1, B2, F, J, L or H. These are the only categories that they are allowing and yes, this is not open to all the nationals in the world. They have given a list of 73 countries. If you are the national of any of those 73 countries, then you are welcome to Argentina. Your visa will be granted for a period of 90 days. Now, here comes one catch when it comes to Argentina. Technically, the visa is not exempt, but you get the privilege. You will be needing, you will be getting the privilege of getting an ETA. ETA means Electronic Travel uh, Authorization. So you can get this ETA in place of a visa and you can travel to Argentina. ETA you will be having you have to pay a fees of 50 USDs to get that ETA online uh, the processing time is again around like 20 working days so you have to plan accordingly and yes this ETA shall be valid for a period of three months and also for multiple entries US visa as on the date of arrival in Argentina should be valid for a period of at least three months if you are entering on the basis of US visa. If you are not entering on the basis of a US visa then again you have to go through the long process that is get an Argentina visa. The next country that you would like to visit if you have a US visa is Chile. Chile is has opened its doors to the US visa holders but it has opened such privileges only to the nationals of three countries that is India, China and Dominican Republic. If you are the nationals or if you are the passport holders of these three countries then you can use your US visa to enter Chile. Now any type of US visa is accepted, uh, used, unused, multiple entry US visa except for the C1 category that is the transit visa. So if you are having any type of US visa except the C1 category, you are good to go to Chile and you will be granted a visa for a period of 90 days and your US visa should be again valid for at least 6 months on the day of arrival in Chile. The next destination in our list is Bermuda. Bermuda has opened its doors to the nationals of all the countries across the world if you have a US visa. So you should be having a used or unused multiple entry US visa. That's their only condition. And yes, you will be granted a stay of 30 days with the, on the basis of your US visa. And as on the departure from Bermuda, I, the probable date, the estimated date or whatever is your date of departure from Bermuda, starting from that date, 
you have to count backwards and your visa should be having a validity of at least 45 days until that day so that is the only condition that they have laid down the next destination is Colombia. If you want to go to Colombia, then you should have a US visa, a multiple entry used to unused US visa, except the C1 category. So any other category except C1 category are accepted in Colombia. And yes, they are having a restrictive list. They are not opening this opportunity for nationals of all the countries. They have given a list of eight countries. So if you are one of those, you can go to Colombia on the basis of your US visa. The countries are Cambodia, China, India, Macau, Myanmar, Nicaragua, uh, Thailand and Vietnam. So if you are one of the nationals of one of those countries, you can definitely go to Colombia on the basis of your US visa. They will be granting the visa for a period of 90 days and your US visa should be valid for at least six months as on the date of arrival in Colombia. The next country is a European country, Georgia. If you want to go to Georgia, you should be having a multiple entry valid US visa. They have opened their doors to the nationals of all the countries and they are good to go. They do not have pretty much a big rule set up in order to enter into Georgia. All they need is that you should be having a valid US visa as on the date of arrival in Georgia. And yes, they will uh, grant you entry for a total period of 180 days, but you cannot stay in Georgia for a consecutive period of 90 days, for more than 90 days. So you can split up your uh, uh, trip to Georgia if you want to stay or if you want to use your entry of 180 days, but you cannot stay in total for more than 90 days at a stretch. The next country that allows you the privilege of US visa is Turkey. Currently one of the booming tourist destinations I can say. Turkey allows you to come into US, uh, to come into Turkey if you have a valid US visa and all the categories of US visa, multiple entry US visa are allowed to come into Turkey. They have given a list of 57 countries. They are not opening for all. They have given a list of 57 countries and if you are the national of one of those, then you can come into Turkey. Do not worry, all the big countries in the world like India, China, everyone is covered in this. So you will not have a problem. Uh, many people, majority of people should not be having a problem going to Turkey on the basis of a US visa. Again, you will be granted an entry for 30 days. Technically, the visa is not exempt, but you will be eligible for Turkey e-visa online, which is pretty quick and easy if you have a US visa and yes you should uh, you will have to pay uh, 43 dollars in order to get that e-visa the next country on list is Qatar you must have all heard about the Qatar Airways and so beautiful is the country also so if you wish to uh, enter Qatar if you want to visit Qatar you, and you have a US visa then you are good to go they are open to all the nationals in the world. You should be having a used or unused uh, multiple entry US visa, all categories except the C1 category. They are allowing you entry for a period of 30 days. Again, technically visa is not exempt, but you are eligible for the ETA. ETA is free of charge, valid for the 30 days, single entry. So these are the only conditions that they have if you're having a US visa. Next on our list, we have got the Saudi Arabia. If you want to visit Saudi Arabia on the basis of your US visa, then you are most welcome to do so. All the visa categories are allowed except the C1 visa category, but they do have certain conditions for the same. Before that, let me tell you, they are allowing the nationals of all the countries in the world. So it's open to all. If you have, The only necessity is that you should be having a US visa. But you should have used that US visa to enter US at least once. It means that visa, you should have been to US at least once, then only you will be able to use your US visa to uh, enter uh, Saudi Arabia. Now, visa is uh, technically you don't get a visa exemption, but you get the uh, opportunity or privilege of visa on arrival, which is available on the international airports. You will just have to pay a fees of 440 SSR in their currency. And yes, it is valid for one year with multiple entry opportunities and your US visa should be valid as on the date when you enter Saudi Arabia. These are the pretty simple rules that they have made up. 
Next on list is Dubai calling. It's UAE. If you want to visit UAE on the basis of your US visa, then let me tell you all the visa categories except the C1 visa are allowed on the basis of US visa. But this privilege is given only and only to the Indian passport holders. So if you are an Indian, if you are an Indian passport holder, then you get to use this privilege. You should be, you, you will be good to have an entry for 14 days in order to visit uh, Dubai and yes visa is not exempt again but you are having the privilege of visa on arrival available on the uh, on any international airports when you reach UAE and yes you will be paying a hundred uh, uh, 180 i'm really sorry about the currencies here you will be paying 180 uh, as your visa on arrival fees it is again a single entry fee so yes once you paid you entered uae you cannot use it again and again you have again when you are re-entered you have to pay again so it's only a single entry that has been granted to you your passport should be having a minimum validity of six months as on the date of arrival in UAE as well as your visa should be valid for at least six months. The next destination is the Asian country Philippines. If you want to go to Philippines on the basis of your US visa then let me tell you all the categories of US visa. Multiple entry US visa are allowed into Philippines but this privilege is again given to only Indian passport holders. So if you are from India better take this opportunity better make the best out of this so yes you shall again be given a entry permit for 14 days your us visa should be valid for as on the date of entry into philippines and your passport should have a minimum validity of six months on the date of arrival in philippines next on list we have the country beautiful country of singapore if you want to go to singapore then you should be having a valid us visa valid us visa of all categories except the C1 category is again eligible for this privilege but this benefit is given only to the nationals of India and China. So if you are an Indian or Chinese passport holder then you are good to go with this rule. They are having, uh, they will be granting you entry for a period of four days and yes you should be either traveling from India to a third country, uh, traveling from India or China to a third country or you should be traveling from a third country to India or China in order to make the best out of this rule. For example, let's say you are traveling from India. So your itinerary should be like India, Singapore, Bali or you are traveling from Bali then from Bali, Singapore, India. So Singapore should be a middle destination. That is their rule. They will be giving you a four days stay period in Singapore. It is just like a transit stay period I can say where you can roam around and enjoy Singapore. Next in our list or the last on our list is South Korea. So if you want to go to South Korea, then you should be having a valid US visa except the C1 category and then you are good to go. But again, they have given a negative list of countries who are not eligible to go into South Korea on the basis of a US visa. So yeah, it's a small list I can say. A majority of the uh, countries are exempted from this. They are out of this list. So if you are from the majority category then you are good to go into south korea but again the countries which are not allowed to use this uh, visa privilege let me read out the name of those countries they have given a list of 24 countries who are not allowed to use this facility that is afghanistan bangladesh cameron cuba egypt Gambia, Ghana, Iran, Iraq, Kosovo, Kazakhstan, Macedonia, Myanmar, Nepal, Nigeria, Pakistan, Palestine, uh, Senegal, Somalia, Sri Lanka, Sudan, Syria, Uzbekistan and Yemen. So unfortunately if you are the nationals of these 24 countries then you will not be able to use this US visa privilege. Okay, for the majority who will be able to use this visa in order to enter to South Korea, uh, you will be given an uh, entry of 30 days in order to enjoy South Korea or work or whatever is your business there in South Korea but they are having certain strict rules uh, in order to use your v US visa to enter South Korea. The rule is that you should either be traveling to US, Canada, Australia, New Zealand uh, through South Korea or you must be traveling from these countries through South Korea. So South Korea has to be an intermediary uh, destination I can say uh, uh, somewhere in the middle in your itinerary. So you should be either going to these countries that is US, 
Canada, Australia or New Zealand or you should be coming from these countries and your middle destination should be South Korea. So they will let you stay in South Korea for 30 days. And yes, your US visa should be valid as on the date of arrival in South Korea. Passport should be six months valid. These are the basic requirements and that's all. You're good to enjoy South Korea. So now you have a fair amount of idea that how powerful your US visa can be and where it can take you. It can basically take you around the globe if you have a US visa and why not make the best out of that. But by the time you sort out your bucket list, it's time we bid adios. We will be back again with another exciting video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you.